I'm Zab Zebra. Today we bring you Trump on Afghanistan, an interview by Dark Nice Nightmare. I don't believe we're doing this. Fake news, real news, all the news that fits in my shoes. Um, yes, Mr. Ex-President, how do you feel about the situation in Afghanistan? It's a mess. It's a mess like no one has seen before. It's a mess like my hair in the morning. Sleepy Joe, hump the bunk on this one. I would have done it better. You never pull out when you say you're gonna pull out. We had the deal with Stan, and Stan would keep that deal. If I were in the White House, my big a brain would have fixed this no problem. You have to gut your people out first, then your equipment, then your soldiers. But aren't soldiers people? Fake news. If soldiers were people, they wouldn't join the army. Only rich people are people, and that's why I cut their taxes with my big... A brain. Um, so what would you do in this situation? Leaving a country is like leaving a hotel room. You take everything of value first. Your luggage, the nice chair, the Bible in the nightstand, and the panties that Stormy said you got all orange. You go to the restroom and you bomb the hell out of it. Then you get out of there before Melania passes out from the smell. So what would be the orange underpants in this situation? The American people first because they're all orange. Then you get your equipment. They got a bunch of our guns, all kinds of shiny metal trucks, and 40, sometimes I hear 50, sometimes I hear 100 of our whirlybirds. You mean the Taliban? They are great fighters. They turn the USSR into Russia. That was Chernobyl, you heartless son of a pig! This whole thing makes Vietnam look like a master class in strategy. We should have bombed our own bases then. Bye-bye! Well, thank you, Mr. Ex-President. You've, um, enlightened us. Yes. This is Rocket Steam Ray reminding you that whereas we talk about the news, human rights violations are no laughing matter. Our hearts and thoughts and prayers Go out to those impacted by this disaster. Well, maybe not Donald Trump's thoughts. Certainly not his prayers. Rocket Stingray, out!